it's truly funny, man, because I went from texting Derrick Henry Tuesday night to uh, finding out Wednesday around noon that I was being traded. So um, I literally had no idea um, what was taking place um, at the at the time. But uh, I'm truly happy to be back in New York. I'll start with John, you know, especially being able to play with him last year. You know, um, um, John has been uh, a, a guy that I've been able to watch, you know, over the last year and a half because we got him. You know, when we were with the Ravens, we got him the year prior late, you know, from um, the Raiders. And, um, you know, you can tell that the guy was an enthusiastic. He was ready to go to work. Um, he didn't have much of a foundation background on, like, coaching. So he kind of had to learn a, a lot of things um, <clears throat> through that offseason. But I'll tell you one thing about him, man. He came into the offseason, changed his whole body, his whole mindset, he knew that there was a, a day one opening at left guard um, with the Ravens and um, training camp, man, day one, he took that head on and you could tell that was his job from day one. Um, and it turned out to be an amazing season for him. And I'm just, I'm excited for him to be able to, uh, you know, obviously he called me as I called him and I was like, bro, like tell me what it's like, like you said. And uh, you know, he, he gave me all the rundown and everything. And uh, like you said, not too, too much long after he was up there with me. And so being able to have a guy that you obviously know, um going going through the you know the free agency portal and all those things um it, i look forward to you know obviously lacing up the the, the cleats and that and putting on the helmets and shoulder pads with them again so i look forward to it i, I i've been a fan um you know truly a fan of coach sala since i've since i've i got there the first time you know we're basically rookies at the jets at the same year you know um and so i got to learn a lot about him um as him being a first-time head coach and how he operates um and I've, I've always been excited for him, right? And obviously, you know, how things turned out with Aaron getting hurt the first game of the season um, pretty much derailed the, the course of that, that that season. But, um, um, you know, one thing about him, he's energetic, man, and he has that defense flying around. And so anytime you have a top five defense in the league and you have a quarterback that's a that's a true Hall of Famer, um, you know, you, you have opportunities to win games. I've always been a fan of, like, the, the underdogs. Um, and last year, I got like I feel like they they were like always the underdog in every game and everything like that. And I just felt like I want to be a part of something like that. I want to I want to help build something. I want to be a part of the building. You know, um, it's not always about the, the 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 big guy up top, but I feel like you know that underdog mentality is where is what I what I really enjoy and what I really um, like. That's how I always been always grew up like that. So that's really what it was. Offensive line is five equals one. So um, it's our job to get in there and learn the playbook, do what we need to do in jail as an offensive line unit. So when we get out there on Sundays, we get out there in, the, in training camp, we can uh, hit the ground running. We already know what everybody's thinking. We have the same mindset. Um, and that's what offensive line is about. You know, it doesn't matter if you're a starter or not a starter. You have to prepare yourself as a starter. And um, I look forward to just bringing uh, a certain mentality to the room and um, just being around the guys and just helping us grow in, in any way possible.